What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix connection and server issues when playing Black Ops Cold War on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. In case you experience a high server-sided latency, then the issue might not be on your end, but rather related to the server you are playing on. Make sure that the servers are working fine by visiting this page. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. In this drop-down menu, select Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and then you can preview the server status and below the status of your platform's network. Next, open up the game and navigate to your settings. Under Accounts and Network, make sure that some of your network information options are turned on. I like to show the server latency and packet loss options as it will give me a clear indicator if lag is induced by the server or by my own connection. When this is done, apply your changes and close the game. In your Blizzard launcher, you should also change the server region depending on where you live, as this can make a big latency difference, especially when playing with others from around the globe. You should make sure that you're using a reliable network connection. To test your connection, visit speedtest.net. A normal up and download speed without interruption is important to have a stable gaming experience. Especially your ping should remain below 100 milliseconds. In case you experience a high latency, then make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. The next two commands are listed in the description below. Ping google.com This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds, or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. You can now exit out of your command prompt and open up your task manager. Here navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open the processes with network activity and after a few seconds you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only enter processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. Lastly, you will change your DNS server address in case the error is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcuts Windows key and R, or Simply search for run and hit enter. In this dialog box, enter a control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center, and here select your connection. This will open up this window containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties and lastly, Double click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses option. And as your preferred DNS server, use 8888. And as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. This will for a lot of users fix connection issues, as these are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. As a last resort, you should ensure yourself that your game files are completed and up to date. In your Blizzard launcher, select Options for Black Ops Cold War and select Scan and Repair. This will take a minute to re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.